Hi everybody, I'm back for part two of my uh, mini journal and I have some uh, little bits and bobs here that I went through some stuff while uh, when I had a few minutes to decide what I kind of wanted on here. I didn't want you to have to watch me digging around deciding what I wanted but so I have, like I said, I had this little tray full of things that I uh, just gathered up. And I also had some lace in there, some fibers, some wire. So I kind of went through and decided what I wanted to put on the cover of this. And so I will show you what I have. and. Uh, as we go along here, this is a earring, part of an earring that uh, I found in that little box. I thought I'm just going to use whatever I find in the box. So that's where we're going with this anyway. And so I got some Fabri-Tac. I'm going to put it on with Fabri-Tac. That usually works pretty good. So we're going to give that a try. And you know, these are metal pieces. That's what we're going to use. And I have some little bit of fibers here. So we're going to get started. You can use anything you want. I mean, I use all kinds of things. Pieces of fiber, little you know, piece of broken jewelry, old coins, keys, all kinds of different things. So... That's usually what I I use. Just layer them up there. So the little glue strings come off later. I have um a feather here, a piece of a feather, and this little bead here that I thought I'd put this feather in the bead. So, just gonna put that on here. having a pretty nice day today. The weather's a little better than it's been the past couple of days. It was cold here yesterday. It snow flurried all day. It didn't really lay on, lay on the ground much, but just the fact that it was that it was snowing. You know, I'm I'm ready for spring like everybody else. This is just a little metal piece I found in my junk. On there, I think I do. I can reglue it if it. If I don't, I'll put some fibers over here in this corner. I think I want to put this piece down first. This little metal piece. I'm gonna put that piece on first. Let's see. I like to put that in here first. Put it on first. 
first. God, I don't want to cut off the whole one. There we go. Some fibers on there. Some eyelash trim. Turn down my TV. You can probably hear that I'm listening to the crime, the crime show. <laughs> I'll go turn it down. I'll be right back. Stepped on you, Rosie. So anyway, like I was saying, it's a pretty nice day out today. So I'm going to uh, go out here shortly and do with a few things outside. I hear my chickens carrying on out there, so they must be over by the patio. I always have chickens or something, the barn cats or somebody hanging out at the patio. Here's some little pieces of feather. Just gives it some color, some texture. I can trim it up a little bit if I, once I get it stuck down here. Piece of yarn. Oop, stuck to my finger. Not that part. Not everything stuck to my finger. Maybe a little toothpick or something. Well, I have lots of fibers on me. I don't know about the book. Okay. So I had this little bead. I got these from uh, online at from Dollar Bead. I just wrapped some wire around it. that on here. A little gear that down here. Blue strings, I'll have to pick those off. Dries. Then I have another little bead that was from a necklace that I tore apart. that dry a couple minutes while I put stuff on the other one. I will trim some of this up I think. While well, this is drying a little bit we'll come back to
in a little while. Fiber stuck to all my fingernails. I'm going Friday to the get my nails done. I do it about once a month. I should do it more often than that, but I just don't get there that often. Oh, well, once a month I get there. And I'm overdue for going to get my nails done. It's my last guilty uh, pleasure. I still have long fingernails, <laughs> even if they're fake ones, but hey, you know, I have to wear gloves when I work outside, leather gloves, or some type of gloves like that, work gloves keep my nails from breaking off and my uh, some of my friends when I was in Pennsylvania I got together with some of my girlfriends and they asked me how can I work on the farm do all that farm work and still have nails and I said well I always wear gloves uh, work gloves so I can have my I can have nails So then I have this other, I have several of these books, but these two are completely finished as far as with their signatures and everything. So I thought I'll put, I'll decorate these. This one I, I decided I'm going to put some steampunk stuff on, some gears, things like that, keys. I just like to put a feather on. I like feathers. So... Feather on here. And I have some eyelash trim. Add that on. Just whatever you want. Layer. It's your it's your thing. You do what you want to do with it. You put what you want on it. Everybody has their own idea what they like or how they see things, you know. There's no right or wrong. Not in the not in the crafting world. No right or wrong. This was a button, I just cut the shank of it off. A little plastic button. Hmm. These are little, kind of like washers. They might have been spacers on a necklace or something. I'm really not sure. I've had these for a long time. I'm done here. I think I'm going to call my mom. I haven't talked to my mom in a while. It's cold when it's cold out. You kind of get, you know. Well, I had cabin fever. I think really bad. I just I didn't really have a whole lot of get up and go. That's for sure. I have some little metal gears.
I have a little key that has a tiny little piece of uh, old lace or something tied on the end there. Stick it right here. Okay. So that's that one, kind of steampunk. I really like steampunk. Some people do just awesome work. Alright, this one should be pretty dry. So, I'm going to have some split rings here. I'm going to put that through the hole here in the spine. Again. There we go. And then I'm going to put this little key on there, I think. So getting back to my nails, I've been thinking for three days what color I'm going to get them done. I'm kind of thinking maybe turquoise, but then part of me says pink. <laughs> so I don't know. So I put a little key on the end. And then you can put a chain, you can put a key ring on there. Hanging on a necklace. And then rather than put some lace to close it, I think I'm going to use these little pieces of colored um, hemp. A couple different colors here. We'll see how that works out. I may not like it and take it out and put a piece of lace in. I don't know. We'll see. use all three of these. I don't know if that's going to work or not. Trying to work without bringing this up to my face <laughs> and taking my glasses off because that's usually what I do. I have bifocals, but um, yeah, don't use them. Take my glasses off. Do it all the time. I just never feel like I can see quite right out of the bifocals, no matter what. So. Just 
take my glasses off and put them on top of my head. Between uh, videos, I went downstairs and got myself a sandwich. Upstairs in the living room, my kitchen is downstairs. And uh, I went downstairs and made myself a sandwich. And I had a ham and pineapple sandwich with provolone cheese on a croissant what I had. I heated the ham up and the pineapple and melted the cheese on it and put it on a croissant and it was delicious. It was delicious. My husband would tell me that fruit does not belong on a sandwich but he would be mistaken because <laughs> it was wonderful. It was really good. I used to get a sandwich similar to that when I at a deli when I uh, worked and my friend and I, and I would order lunch and that's what we would get. <coughs> oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. I all suddenly had to sneeze. I'm going to put it on my entire bow. I can say my fingers don't work as well as they used to. That's for sure. You get older. And your joints are stiffer. I'm not sure what's going on there. Well, that didn't work. That did not work. Maybe I don't want to tie a bow. I think I do. Definitely grabbing hold of something that's hindering my progress here. Well, I'll have to work at it. Make it look the way I want to. It's not tight enough. And I may decide that's not what I want to tie it closed with. We'll see. Yeah, I'm not too crazy about that. This right here. I think I'll try the piece of lace. That's what I think. And maybe not so many pieces of hemp. Maybe that's my problem. Just use one and see what happens.
cup of tea. I love tea. I don't drink coffee. <clears throat> but I love tea. I drink my tea in a glass mug. It has to be a clear glass mug. It doesn't taste the same to me if it's not. That may sound crazy, and it's probably just in my head, but it just doesn't taste the same to me. I really am having a difficult time with this. Not quite sure why. I think my fingers aren't working right today or something. Not working. Oh my. I'm trying, trying, trying to tie a bow. Can't manage to do that. Uh -uh. I think I may have gotten it. I might have gotten it. I, I like it better just one, one strand, not all those other ones, turn it up a little bit. Okay, so there we go. It's pretty cute. Alright, so then we have this last one here. In there. I'm gonna hang this little metal scrolly piece. Let's see it on uh, on the end of this one. I am having a hard time getting my fingers to work right today. Not sure what's going on there. I have on uh, bracelets that I had made my grandmother many years ago. Show them to you here in a minute. But uh, I had made my grandma some bracelets so that she could get them on easier. You know, speaking of fingers not working right. right? And oh, I might not be able to put this on there with this it's pretty thick on that. We got it. Anyway, it's easier to put stretch bra bracelets on. Because we all know how hard it is to use those little tiny clasps on our bracelets. So I had made these stretch bracelets for my grandmother. Purple was her favorite color. And uh, she passed away two, about two years ago. And my mom was sweet enough to, when she was going through her grandma's jewelry, to give me these back. And so, they remind me of grandma. She wore them a lot. She was a sweet lady. Oh, I'll tell you, I will, I've been so blessed. I 
knew both my grandmothers. My grandmothers uh, lived into their 90s, and so uh, up till two years ago, I had both my grandmas, and I also knew my great-grandmothers, uh, who they lived into their 90s. And so I knew them even as an adult, not just a child. But, uh, you know, I really felt blessed and so fortunate to to know them. They were great women, wonderful people, and just wonderful, wonderful grandmas. And really enriched my life, I think, growing up and, and even into adulthood. So, uh, I miss them. I miss my grandmothers. I still have my lovely mom. My dad passed away two years ago. But, um, my mom, she's a, she's a great person. I just love her. She's a wonderful person. I was really fortunate to have good parents, grandparents, people that were good role models. I just, I feel for these young kids sometimes that I see that, you know, their uh, parents have a lot of problems and and they're not there for the children and I, I feel for them because, you know, that was the best part of my growing up was going to grandma's house or you know just hanging out with my mom um, and knowing that they were <clears throat> there for me and for my family so I, I feel for a lot of people whose you know families are broken and you know, with so many things going on, drugs and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, every child should have a safe, loving home to live in. And that's not always the case, is it? Um, but I certainly have been blessed with a wonderful family. Wonderful family. I don't take it for granted at all. I know how fortunate I am. I have this little piece of lace here. I'm going to tie this closed with. Maybe if I can get my fingers to work. I have a lot of trouble with those fingers today. quite dry. I feel the things moving around on it. Done here. I'm gonna clean a few of these things up, and I'm gonna go out and feed my critters. Go down to the end of the lane, get my mail, gather eggs. Get my 
do some of my outside chores. I have goats. For a couple of days, for whatever reason, those days that it was really nice out, and a few days that it was really nice, and then it got cold again. Those days that it was really nice out, they were getting out of the pasture. And we keep our feed down in the barn. <laughs> They would be down there. I think they were down there headbutting the uh, door trying to get into the barn to get the grain. For something to do, I guess. But as soon as they would hear me outside, they'd come up to the house. And I try to keep them away from the house now that they're bigger. Because they, they get into everything. Everything. And get up on the picnic table. Oh. <laughs> They're ornery. They're cute though. I had some people over here the other day and they said, Oh, are you gonna get baby goats? I'm like, Oh, I love the little baby goats. They're so cute, but no. I don't need any baby goats. I got enough trouble with the big ones. Okay, so there's the second one. Has a little charm here on the end. Like I said, you can use them for on a purse or anything like that. I'm going to untie them, so after all that trouble tying them, just so I can show you the inside, the signatures inside. I think these are really cute and they are, you can use them for, you can put your favorite quotes in there. You have uh, Bible verses or maybe little pictures. Put anything you want in them. Well, anyway, there's the inside. Like I said, this one is just little pieces of scrap paper. There's scrapbook paper, painty paper. Some of them are book paper. Uh, some tea dyed paper, I think, in here. Just a few um, pieces of paper that were embossed. There's scraps that I had in my scrap, my scrap bin. So I hope you'll try to make some. And I'd like to, I'd love it if you'd send me a picture. Or if you do make some, because I love, I love to see other people's work and. I know they can certainly improve on my work or my ideas or my version of an idea. So I, I hope that uh, you'll give it a try and then show me what you made because I'd really be interested to see everybody's, uh, everybody's work. I'm so in awe of some, most people's work you know I really am I think my work is yeah you know it's all right but uh, no I, I see other other people's and I think you know there's such great uh, talent out there and people have so many great ideas and so anyway I hope everybody will have a good day and I'll see you next time 
I think that I'm going to uh, maybe do some jelly plate printing on my next video because I have some of that to do because I like to make some flowish type journals and so I'm going to be working on that for the next couple of days so I may make a video on that and then I want to make a couple cuff bracelets so um, I think I will uh, do a video on that too so I hope to see you all soon and I hope everyone has a wonderful day and I'll see you later. Bye.